Okay, so we're covering section 3.4 today, um, and it's just continuing on with these Venn diagrams and just looking at this. So you've seen this before. You've seen a triple Venn diagram like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at what do each of these regions represent in terms of some notation that we've seen before. So let's label some of these. So let's call this A, B, and C. We don't care what each of these are. We're just going to put this as A, B, and C. And I'm going to label each section. So let's talk about this. Uh, wait, I want to do the same as what I did on my notes here. So one is going to be the outside region. I'm just going to label each one of these. One is on the outside. Two is this section here. Then I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So these are the eight regions in a triple Venn diagram. And we're going to look at what do each of these represent. So you can copy those out. Um, and I'm going to scroll down and refer to what you've got written out here. So make sure you have them labeled the exact same way that I've got. Otherwise, this won't make sense. So one is here. One is outside all the circles. Then two, three, four, five in the middle, six, seven, eight. Five is in the very middle. Yeah, so that's going to be all three of those. So let's look at what regions are covered in each of these notations. So in looking at yours, what is going to be A and B and C? So remember this means and. So A and B and C. What region is that? Five. This is the very, very center. So the regions in that is just going to be five. Yep, that's the only section on our Venn diagram that's all three of those sections. Now how about A and B? So let's look at A and B. So what section, which of these regions, is in both the circle A and the circle B? Three and five. Both of these are in the A and B circle. So if we were to look at this, three and five are both in A and B. How about A and C? Not quite. So if I'm looking at A, Sorry, what is it? A. It's A and C, right? Yeah, because look, here is A. Here is C. So what regions are in both circles? Six and five. So that's going to be our overlapping region. So that's kind of how you can picture this as we're going through, is just which, which is in each of those. So, uh, sorry, we said five and six for this, right? Yep, okay. How about B and C? B and, uh, B and C. Five and seven. So five and seven would be what is in both of those two circles. And now we've got A or B or C. So this means, what's that? Uh, so those would be a part of this, yes. But there's a few more regions that are also in this. Yeah. And? And? One's the only one that's not a part of this. Yeah. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If it's A or B or C, it can be just A, it could be just A and B, 
It could be all three. It could be A and C. It could be just C. As long as it's in one of these bubbles, it works. So A or B or C, this is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is to give you an idea as to which sections talks about which, to kind of help you along with that. If it's A or C, so which, rec which sections do you think is A or C? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eight. And seven. seven. Yeah. So if it's A or C, two, three, six, five, eight, seven. Anything that's in the, th uh, the C circle and in the A circle would work for that. Yeah. So here, this big long equation. Uh, is going to be on your formula sheet. You do not have to memorize this. You would just need to know how to utilize this. Um, I'm going to show an example how that works because I don't want to uh, confuse you at this point with that. We're going to use this on the next page. So here we go. Um, how many example problems are there? There's two. Okay. So we need to figure out which goes where. And we can start writing out some of these things. So we've got um, how people communicate. This is from a while ago. So this is not very reliable data. But we're talking about cell phones, texting, social networking. The numbers would be way different nowadays, but let's do this. So we've got cell phones, texting, social media. We can write it out as such. And we need to try and figure out which set of data goes where. And we need to be careful that um, any of these that represent more than one section, I cannot write. So for instance, here it says 16% texted and used social networking. So texting and social networking is these two sections. So I cannot write six or 19 in there yet until I know one of these two. And then I can figure out the other. So in looking at all of this, let's see, we've got 66 called on the cell phone, so this region, this region, this region, this one, all add up to 66. Can't do that yet. All of T, 76, can't use it. 34, again, that's the whole thing. I can't use it yet. I can't use the ands yet, but I'm told that 12% use all three. That's the first one that says specifically I know the middle region because it says it's all three. From there, I can start figuring out the other points. What do you think would be a good next step? So I used this information. That one's done. Where would be a good next step, do you think? Yeah, let's just pick something else that works. Sure, let's do that one. So, 56 called on the cell phone and texted. So that means in cell phone and texting, so in these two, it needs to be 56. I know this is 12, so what's left over? 56? Yeah, so this section here is just the 56 minus 12. 
So we've got 12 is this section, and we've got, uh, yeah, like you said, 44 is in this section. So we've used this. We can do the same for the other two. So cell phone and social networking. So here's the cell phone, here's social networking. So these two in the middle add up to 18. So then I'll just do 18 minus 12 gives me the 6. I've used this one. And then we're told texting um, and social networking, 19. So this region and this region add up to 19. So then 19 minus 12 gives you 7. So we know this section. So this is just using the exact same thing we did on the first page, and we're solving this out. Questions on this so far? This is pretty good. Oh, yes. Yeah, we did this one. So that one's done. And then we just need, what are these regions? Okay, so this whole circle here is 34. So if I do 34 minus these other sections, yeah. Minus 6, minus 12, minus 7, uh, 28, 16, 11, I think it's 11. No, I did something wrong. 24, should be 9. Is that right? 34 gives you 28, 28, 18, 16, 9. Yep. And then, so we got that one. We use the 34. Texting needs to be 76. Yeah, so you guys are starting to get the, you're starting to get the pattern. So 76 minus the ones that are in here, minus 44, minus 12, minus seven. Uh, that one I'm not gonna do in my head. This one's 13. And then here's 66 minus the other three regions. So, uh, what do you mean? Mm -hmm. there's, there's two types of questions I would give you with this. This is the first one. And I'm going to give you a second one next. So now that we've solved this, actually, you know what? Let's figure out what the outside region is. So what would be on the outside? Mm -hmm. But what, what, should my, what should my universal set be? What should the total be? Yeah. So, because it, it, we're dealing with percentages, right? So the total has to be 100%. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So 100 minus all of this. So 100 minus 4, minus 44, minus 13, minus 12, da 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 da, da Minus all of those. So I'm just going to say minus all for the sake of writing it out. So this gives us 5, not to be confused here with the S. Notice we solved this, but we didn't even look at what the question is asking. And that's because once you've done this, you're pretty good. So it says, what percentage of people used at least one of these forms of communication? So that means they used either one, two, or all three of them. So how, what percentage of people used one of these at least? That's just C or T or S. So it could be all of these added up. 
So the question is, what's the number of people that, um, uh, what am I trying to do, that were either S or um, T or C. So in one of these regions. And to do that, we either add all these up, or you can short, shortcut and just go 100 minus 5, because it'll get you the same thing. Yeah, just 95. So either way, you could either go 4 plus 44 plus 13 plus 12 plus 6 plus 7 plus 9. One, two, three. Did I miss a section? 4, 12, 6, 7, 9. No. So either you add them up or 100 minus, not, or sorry, 100 minus 5, because that's outside the circle. Either way, you get 95. Any questions with that? Make sense? So that's your strategy. This, this kind of one is easy. If they give you the middle one, you're just going to start using that middle one and subtract it from the outsides. Yeah. So it's really not too hard once so you, once you actually you give us the number? Yeah. So sometimes, you, well, you're always going to have to read this and be careful to see what this says. So they might say 66 only called on the cell phone. So if they only called on the cell phone, that would be this outer region. And you just need to be able to read what it says carefully. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I can go back. So this is one type where I give you the center. You want it to write this down? Yeah. This is one type. I give you the center. The next type is I do not give you the center. And you just need to know how to use that. But I'll show you what that looks like. The, no, it's okay. This, um, the next one where I don't give you the center, this one involves a little bit of algebra. Don't worry, nothing crazy. It's grade nine level algebra. So this is the information. It's talking about um, children owning cats, dogs, or birds. And we want to organize in these into their different sets. So we'll start off, just label some of these. So we've got the universal set. I'll put dogs, cats, and birds. This, you, universal set. So let's see if there's any section I can fill in at this point. So it says 28 have a dog, a cat, or a bird. So that means that's somewhere in here. It's or, it's not and. Because it's or, it can be in any of these sections. Yeah, a dog or a cat or a bird. So that would be this region, this region, this region, this region, this region, this region, and this region all add up to 28. Yeah, so we can't use that yet. 13 have a dog, 13 have a cat, 13 have a bird. That's the whole circles, I can't do that. Four children have only a cat and a dog. Yeah, and not a bird. So this goes here. I can use that. Notice because it says four children have only a dog and a cat. That means they have a cat and a dog, but no bird. So I can put that one in. That one's nice. 
Three children have only a dog and a bird. So it's there. Two have only a cat and a bird. This is looking nice. I have three sections already filled in. So no child has two of each type of pet. That just means they can't repeat. So um, you don't need to worry about that for now. That's not a number that we need to use. But the problem now is, uh, no, the 28's not in the middle because it says here or. So when it says or, it could mean any, it's all these regions added up, give you 28. Um, and it doesn't say anything about who don't own any pets. Um, not yet. So the problem is we don't know this part. So because I know this is 13 and D, the total of this, but I don't have anything to subtract from the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to label the middle as X. And that's what we're solving for is X. So if I wanted to put it as X, dogs in total is 13. So this section here is 13 minus four, minus three, minus X. Because I don't know what the X is yet. So 13 minus four is nine, minus three is six. So this whole section is six minus X. So once I figure out X, I can figure that out. So this is why this part's a little bit trickier is because it involves a variable. Same thing for cats. What's the total? They're all 13. Okay. So 13 minus four minus two minus X. So that gives us nine, seven minus X. And then here 13 minus three minus two minus X. So this gives us eight minus X. Yes, this doesn't look the greatest, but we can now solve for X. Because I know this plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this add up to 28. So now we should do 28 minus 3 minus 2 minus 2. Yeah, so the first question says, how many have a cat and a dog and a bird? Now we can do this. So we're going to add up all the regions. So I know the whole thing adds up to 28. Here's how we do this. So we're going to add up each of these regions. So I've got 6 minus x. That's one section. Plus 4. Plus 7 minus x. Plus the middle region, which is x. Plus 3 plus 2, plus 8 minus x. Um, I'll show you how to do this. So notice all I did is I added up each of the regions. There's nothing... I just put it in brackets so you can recognize where that came from. You don't have to put the brackets. I just put brackets here to show this is one section. Nope, you're not multiplying anything because there's a plus sign here. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add all the numbers and add all the x's. So I'm just combining like terms. This is something you've seen in uh, previous math classes. So if I go 6 plus 4 plus 7 plus 3 plus 2 plus 8, what I end up with is 30. And then if I combine all the x's, so minus x, minus another x gives you minus 2x, but I add an x, so those actually cancel. So I have minus x, minus another x, so it's minus 2x. 
So all I've done, combine like terms. Would you know how to solve for x at this point? Maybe, possibly. Let's do this, I'm gonna show you. So minus 30 for both sides. So you have minus two equals minus two x. Then because it's minus two times x, I divide both sides by minus two. And I get x equals one. Um, there's only certain numbers you can have for x. And in this case, x has to be 1. So, Is there many cases that the x is 1? Yeah, you can have multiple cases where x equals 1. Yeah. One, one plus four. Yeah, there's different, depending on the question, the middle number could be anything. This is just a special case where it's 1. So now what I can do is I can change these numbers. I know x equals 1, so that section's 1. So 6 minus 1, so this gives you that this is 5. 7 minus 1, this gives you 6. This gives you 7. Now I've solved the whole thing. So once I have that middle region, now I'm good. And I can answer any questions you give me. Mm -hmm. So now you can look at the other one. So how many children had only one pet? So that would be the regions only a dog, only a cat, only a bird. I'll come back up to this in a sec. So, yeah, so it's just 18. So it's 5 plus 6 plus 7. Just 18. And that's all. So your strategy for solving any of these with the middle missing, just place a variable, place x in the middle, and then solve it like normal. And that's all you're really going to do. Yeah. It takes, it takes some practice, but your strategy is the same every time. So once you get the strategy down with this, you know how to do it. Yep. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So again, the tricky part with these questions is really being able to carefully read the words. Don't just skim through the words and try and figure out what it says. You really need to be careful because the terminology for this is very distinct. So when it says how many children have a, a cat, a dog, and a bird, and is your keyword. And means it's the, the intersection of those. Yes. So this is why I don't want to give you a really long test because you need to be very specific about the words. For example, if it says only, that means without including one of the other regions. Or if, like it's set up here, it says or. Or is very important. Or again, only. So these kind of words that maybe you look over normally, these are the very important words that can get your question completely right or completely wrong. So you need to be very careful in reading the questions. Yeah, yeah, so if it says or, you're including all the different ones in those circles. If it's and, it means just what's in both of those. 